Hi, I'm Ashley Corcoran, Artistic Director of the Arts Club Theatre Company, and I'm so excited to announce that we're bringing audiences and artists back to our Stanley Industrial Alliance stage for the 21-22 season. We know that when you think about the Arts Club, you think about the Stanley, so it's with much joy that we invite you back to our flagship theatre for a five-show subscription series. Four of the five shows were cancelled due to COVID and will now be resurrected with as many of the original artists as possible. So let's take a look at the 21-22 season. We're starting the season with a new holiday musical tradition. Dolly Parton's Smoky Mountain Christmas Carol. Because, two words, Dolly Parton. Charles Dickens' classic characters and Dolly Parton's one-of-a-kind songwriting talents come together for a holiday event made for sharing with those you love. Directed by Bobby Garcia, with music direction by Ken Cormier and choreography by Julio Fuentes, Dolly Parton's Smoky Mountain Christmas Carol runs from November 18th until January 2nd, right here at the Stanley. Next up, we have Made in Italy, the tour de force one-man show, written by and starring the incredibly talented Baron Timoteo. You'll love this hilarious coming-of-age story about a kid with the heart of Rocky Balboa and the moves and hair of John Travolta. Directed by Daryl Cloran, Made in Italy plays January 13th until February 13th at the Stanley Industrial Alliance stage. Before the hit CBC sitcom, there was Kim's Convenience, The Play. Int's Choi's story has made the journey from the Toronto Fringe Festival to primetime, and this particular production began its life just down the street at the tiny 128-seat Pacific Theatre. Directed by Caitlin Williams and based on the 2018 Pacific Theatre production, Kim's Convenience runs from February 24th until March 27th. Another smash hit fringe play that inspired a Canadian television series, Trey Anthony's musical, De Kink in My Hair, will finally have its Vancouver professional premiere. In this inspiring and uplifting show, Navalette is a salon owner with a special talent for unmasking the hidden secrets of her clients. Their powerful stories are woven together with laughter, tears, and inspiration. Directed and choreographed by Ray Hogg, with music direction by Mary Anchetta, De Kink in My Hair runs from April 14th until May 15th at the Stanley Industrial Alliance stage. Last but certainly not least, rounding out our season, we're so excited to finally be able to produce the blockbuster musical Kinky Boots from the brilliant minds of Cindy Lauper and Harvey Firestein. Based on the 2005 film, Kinky Boots follows Charlie Price, an aspiring young businessman who is forced to give up his dreams of living in London to save the family business in Northern England. He finds unexpected inspiration in Lola, a fabulous entertainer in need of some sturdy stilettos. Directed by Barbara Tomasic, with music direction by Ken Cormier, and choreography by Julie Tonino, Kinky Boots runs from June 9th until July 31st. In addition to our live productions, we're bringing back Listen to This with a series of four audio plays. This programming includes three silver commissions and also a play originally developed through our LEAP playwriting program, all of which are world premieres by local playwrights. First up is The Call, a biting new drama from Michelle Rimmel and Michael St. John Smith, starting November 4th. Redbone Coonhound, a hard-hitting new comedy by Amy Lee Lavoie and Omari Newton, starts January 27th. The Wrong Bashir, a hilarious story of mistaken identity by Zahida Rahumtula, starts March 24th. The final audio play in our series is so fresh it doesn't even have a name yet. Hulemia Sparrow's exciting new audio experience about this land is available for streaming from June 2nd. All of our Listen to This audio plays will be available for purchase at artsclub.com. They will also be released weekly for free on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Tickets for all of our productions are now available at artsclub.com. Thank you so much for your support during this difficult period. We are truly optimistic at the Arts Club about our future, and that is thanks to you, our incredible audience. We can't wait to invite you back to the Stanley for our 21 22 season.